Howdy folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I, uh, as you can imagine, got you 4501. Uh, I haven't even taken out the training room yet. I wanted to run through some quick video here and show you some stuff this thing can do. And my God, yeah, is it OP? Is it broken? <sighs> sure, it, it's definitely the best submarine in the game right now by stats and statistics. It doesn't, it's about, yeah, it's just better. It just is what it is. So I want to start off first with just going with airdrops, and I'm cheating. I have the Alaska way up north here, seven kilometers out, which is a 13-second airdrop. So it's going to launch its planes. I'm using the Yamato as a, as a guide so I can directly cheat on it. And this is how bad it is. When the airplanes come out and they're flying in, 13 seconds, I'm going to have depth charges on me. Yeah, this is really that bad. Look how fast it's going. Boom, boom. I kept trying this and trying this. Now, I, without cheating, I couldn't hit it. So, could I kill it? Well, I could see it and cheat underneath the model. Yep, every single time. But if I don't see it, and it's not spotted, and it gets down quick enough, this is the story of this boat. You're not going to be able to airdrop it. You really have to make sure your airdrops are perfect and it hasn't uh, turned away. The next thing I did was anti -so, or no, I destroyed with no hydro. That's a nice little picture right, right side by side. Again, I had to cheat with this one as well because it has no hydro. So here I am boogieing along here at max speed. Here comes the kid. And all you have to do with the kid, it, it's dead simple. It's just with because there's no hydro, it's just turn away. Just turn to the left. So from the kid's point of view, this is what it's seeing. Nothing. I'm paying it away to tell it where to go, and it doesn't know where I am. Like it hasn't even doesn't know that I've turned. Now that's basic tactics that I've already shown people in, in other videos before about submarines and how to play submarines better. But this is real. And then as I'm turning back into this, the, to this turn, there's Yamato off in the distance. The kid's going to drop the, door, the depth charge just thinking I'm in front of it or it's got on top of me, but it hasn't. Now, this boat underwater at maximum speed is probably faster than, what, 90% of the boats in the game? If you're in a cruiser depth charger, good luck. You're never going to get it. Unless you jump on or accidentally have it and have the ability to get it. The only vulnerability that I see for this submarine right now in the hands of an experienced player is this. If you're a DD, and this is a tier 7, yeah. Maytorp didn't have any uh, higher end, but I wanted a DD with hydro. You get within 2 kilometers, sure, you can outmaneuver it, you can do your thing, and you can come at it. And this is exactly what's going to happen. You do have the maneuverability, you do have the depth charge, and you do have hydro. So I'm turning like crazy here to get out of this and see what I can get away from this thing. When U451 turns, it actually loses speed. But in reality, what ends up happening? Yeah, this is what happens. You're going to get nailed. Boom, boom, boom. But even even a tier 7, tier 8, tier 9, you're going to need at least two drops on it. There's a video I made a little while ago, which I'll link to in the bottom, of how destroyers should kill DDs. You should be super aggressive. Even if you don't have hydro, you need to be super aggressive. But here the hydro is about to run out in two seconds. Now, I'm going to die, obviously. But... If uh, Hydra runs out or you're just outside the 2 kilometer range, go deep with the U4, U4501 and run. They're, they're ne you're never going to get caught. So I think Hydra in a DD is about the only weakness it's going to have. That, that's how I feel it. So here's me doing the same thing and here comes the kid behind me. And I wanted to show this to everybody because I'm trying. But I've gone from 30, almost 38 knots down to 21 knots. And I'm trying to get out of the way. And it's not going to happen. I'm going to end up getting killed. So I'm trying my best, but a DD with Hydro is about the best you're going to get. That's how I see. So, hey, let me know your thoughts down below. I will have a review for 4501 shortly this week because I will start playing it this week. But let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I'm also going to make a video on how to kill this thing even more when I do more uh, testing on it. But anyway, uh, do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, because the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, loves that thing. So it makes my channel grow and I can get you more videos. So <laughs> I'm about to die here. As always, take care, stay safe, and, well, you know, bye for now.